Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you continuity equation in semiconductor material. With the use of continuity equation, you can solve many questions based on electromagnetics as well as based on electronics devices. So here I will be deriving this continuity equation and this question is very essential in university examination as well. So here, first you need to understand what is continuity equation. See, continuity equation explains function of charge carriers with respect to space and time. So how it is explaining that concentration of charge carriers with respect to space and time that I am going to derive over here step by step. So for that, I will be considering P type material over here and later I will tell you like how we can have equation based on N type material as well. So here you can observe we are having P type material. This is the block which is of P type material. And to have a derivation, I will be considering small section of width delta x. Now, in this P type material, obviously, what will be concentration over here? Holes, right? So, here we will be having concentration that is holes that is P. Now, here let me tell you one basic thing. See, let us say P dash that is number of holes and P is holes concentration. There is a difference. Let me write that difference over here. See P dash that is number of holes right and let us say P that is concentration concentration of holes. Now what is the difference in between this? See number of holes means how many holes are there? Concentration of holes means number of holes per unit volume right so here this is number and this is what number per unit volume that is how difference is there so first i'll be deriving equation based on p dash and then i'll convert that equation based on p which is concentration of holes right which is per unit volume so to understand how many holes are there you need to understand how generation take place in my last video i have explained how generation happens right so, generation explains how many charge carriers are generated, right? That generation can be done by multiple ways. It can be done by light, it can be done by electric field, it can be done by external supply, right? Let us consider generation rate that is G and recombination rate over here that is R. So, let us try to understand how this number of holes will change with respect to time. So, for that, let me derive equation. So, here See dp dash by dt that explains number of holes changes with respect to time. So that will be generation explains how many holes are generated, right? So that is G. And what is the unit of generation rate? Generation rate unit is number of holes generated per volume per second. And this is what number per second. So here you need to multiply delta V that is volume of this delta X width of block. And recombination explains what? Opposite of generation. So here you need to write minus R into delta V. So this difference explains what? How many holes are generated due to generation, right? So generation minus recombination into volume that explains how many holes are generated with respect to time. Now one another thing that is possible over here, like you see if we apply something over here in terms of field, then there can be there can be current density jp and at this side let us say we are having x over here so at this side we will be having x plus delta x so jp x that i am writing that is entering here so leaving current density will be jp x plus delta x so what is current density current density is amount of charge per unit volume per area per second right so here see if i want to write this in form of per number per second then you see how to write this jpx into area so per area that is getting cancelled divided by charge so that will be number per second right and here this is leaving so minus jp x plus delta x into area divided by charge that we need to do. Now, 
I want to convert this P dash in form of P. So what I need to do? I need to multi. I, I need to divide this P dash by volume so that we can have this P dash in form of P. So how to have this? You see. For that, what I'll do is I'll try to make this equation in form of volume. So G into volume that we already have, right? Minus R into volume that we already have. So J P X into area is there. So I'll be multiplying and dividing delta X over here, right? So Q by delta X that I'm doing minus J P into X plus delta X A into delta X divided by Q into delta X. So now you see A into delta X that is volume that is del V, right? So I can take this del V common which is volume of this section. So if I take this common and if I divide it over here then you will be having dP dash by dt into 1 by delta V that is equals to G minus R plus J P X divided by Q delta X minus J P into X plus delta X divided by Q delta X. Now here you see as I have told you P dash by volume, P dash by volume that will be concentration of holes. So now I will be having equation over here that is in terms of rate of concentration with respect to time, right? That is equals to G minus R and here I will be taking Q common, right? So 1 by Q into J P X minus J P of X plus delta X divided by delta X. Now if you observe here this term, so that is a definition of differentiation. This term that is a definition of differentiation. And here if you observe JP of X minus JP of X plus delta X is there. So this is minus of JP differentiation of JP with respect to X. Why the reason is X minus X plus delta X that is how it is there that's why. So here let me note down this. See this is a definition of differentiation. Right. It is differentiation. So as it is differentiation let us simplify this further. So, rate of concentration with respect to time that is G minus R minus, now see this is what minus differentiation, right? So, minus 1 by Q into DJP by DX, right? So, that is how this one form of continuity equation that we can have. Now, here we need to simplify this continuity equation further. So, this is also one form of continuity equation, but there can be further simplification as well. Let me explain you how that simplification can be there. So, here we are having generation and recombination. Now, what is recombination that already I have explained in my theory video. See, recombination that is change in holes with respect to lifetime of hole, right? Recombination that we have seen it in my earlier videos, right? So, change in concentration with respect to lifetime of holes as we are talking about P type material, right? And see this JP that is current density of hole. So, current density of hole that can be as per diffusion as well as drift, right? So, let me write that it can be of diffusion plus it can be of drift. So, what is, what is diffusion current density? See, diffusion current density for holes that is minus Q into dP into dP by dx, right? This is diffusion constant and Q is charge. And this is what rate of concentration of holes with respect to distance. And what is drift current density? So, drift current density that is Q into mu P into concentration of holes into electric field. This is what JP and this is what recombination that we can substitute in this, right? So, let us substitute both of this inside this equation. So, 
you will be having rate of concentration of holes with respect to time that is g minus now r is change in holes concentration divided by lifetime and now you see minus 1 by q is there and d by dx of this jp that is this so let us substitute that so minus q dp into dp by dx plus q into mu p into p into electric field right now let us simplify this so here we will be having dp by dt and this will be generation minus recombination is del p by 2p where 2p is lifetime of holes minus 1 by q now you see here d by dx of see these two are constant charge is constant and diffusion coefficient of holes is constant right so this q this q will get cancelled over here and minus minus plus will happen so we will be having dp and double differentiation of p with respect to x that will be d square p by dx square right this is due to diffusion right now you see again this minus sign that will get multiplied here so minus 1 by q that is getting cancelled right so we will be having mu p that is constant and you see p and e so concentration of holes p that is variable and electric field also can change over here you see in this block electric field can also change so here you need to multiply multiplication rule over here for differentiation so one time you will have to keep p constant and de by dx that will happen minus mu p and one time electric field will be constant dp by dx that is how this equation will come right so here if you observe see this term this term that is associated with drift this term that is associated with diffusion this term that is there with recombination and this term that is there with generation right so in total rate of change of concentration with respect to time that depends on generation recombination diffusion current and drift current and this is what in total continuity equation and this continuity equation that we have it for holes similarly you can have continuity equation for n type material so let me note down that similarly with n type this continuity equation that will be dn by dt means concentration of n with respect to time that will be generation minus recombination will be delta n by tau n where delta n is change in concentration of n with respect to lifetime of n and here in sign you need to be careful see drift diffusion current that will be having positive sign on the dn into d square n by dx square right but with drift in n type it will be positive right so plus mu n into n into dn sorry into de by dx plus mu n into e into dn by dx that is how n type continuity equation that you can have so this is how we can have continuity equation and with the use of this continuity equation we can solve many problems 